So at the very top of the stairs, we have the door to the roof. It's only four and a half feet tall, so we have to be very careful. So this roof was mostly built in 1908 as part of adding an extra floor to the east end of the building, building a completely new west wing, and building the new stair towers. You can see behind me the stair towers were decorated with battlements, a crenellated pattern of stone, which makes it look a bit like a castle. So that's a bit of a departure from the original Gothic style, but it really added to the charm of the, of the whole building. We're on top of the attic, and then the floor below that had classrooms, which needed natural light. So originally, a number of skylights were installed. There's a skylight over to my left, which has been covered over, and an air conditioner is sitting on top of it at the moment. Uh, but that was the skylight for the science lab, which was below it. There are other skylights to my right uh, and, uh, and on the other side of the roof. These skylights had light wells that went right down through the attic to uh, the, the ceilings of the rooms below, so that they provided lots of natural light to the classrooms on the fourth floor. There are some spectacular views from the roof. When the school was expanded in 1908, there were no high-rise buildings around. In fact, the only high-rises you could see from here were really the Parliament buildings. Even the Chateau Laurier had not yet been built. So when you look around now, you still have quite an impressive view of the Ottawa skyline, but it's very different from what it used to be. During the Second World War, the air cadets came up here because they used the roof to practice aircraft spotting. So they'd see the aircraft flying past and they'd identify with binoculars what type of a plane they were. And that was part of their cadet corps training. Uh, the next part of the roof, uh, we will see the main tower, which was added in 1908, and the other stair tower. The main tower was the principal architectural feature added to the building and it has the same kind of uh, battlements or crenellations uh, that you saw on the stair tower here. This tower was the principal feature added to the school in 1908. The uh, corner turret uh, is the highest part of the school. It reaches up to 105 feet above street level. The tower itself originally had a tall flagpole. The flag flew uh, while the school was, was in session. The tower uh, was meant to complement the two stair towers. We came up the first stair tower. There's a second identical staircase tower uh, on my left. But we're standing on top of what was the oldest part of the school. This part was built in 1874. Some changes were made over the years, particularly the heating system. The original heating system for the school didn't work very well. So they had to install new furnaces in the basement and massive chimneys that came all the way up to the roof. Two of those chimneys, stone chimneys, are here on my right. They're not used today uh, because the heating system of course, uh, heating is much more efficient now than it was in the 1890s. But it created real problems to try and create space for those chimneys inside a school that was already laid out on a pretty compact plan. Now, west of here, the roof continues over the 1908 wing. It continues above the school auditorium, which we will also be visiting shortly. And there's another large chimney feature, which was actually a ventilator. 
It had large horns like you might see on the decks of ships that worked with the wind to draw foul air out from the attic of the auditorium. So that that was a, a primitive air conditioning system back in 1908. But it's still used today, except that instead of relying on a, an air horn, uh, they have electric fans instead. But the stonework is interesting and it's, it's also a decorative feature of the roof of the school. Also on my right are three more of the skylights which went down through light wells to the science laboratories below in order to provide good light for, the, uh, for all the scientific experiments.